All right, YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Wayne Stop Hoppy. Back at it today with another video. And today's video, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I went to a vintage fest yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoyed that mini vlog. But I do have a ton of pickups here. I have two pickups from that vintage fest. And I have two other vintage pickups. And I have two other pickups from 18 East, which is becoming my new favorite brand. And I got two Hat Club pickups. So yeah, a little bit of a pickup haul. But before we get into this, Please feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and to see how I style any of these pieces, go check out my Instagram. My Instagram will be in the description of this video. I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so let's just get right into it. So my first pickup from the Vintage Fest I went to yesterday is going to be this 1980s Carhartt button-down shirt right here in this wash brown colorway. I believe this was originally brown. I mean, it pretty much looks like white now, or I guess beige, but it has such a super cool fade. And honestly, I wasn't even like looking for shirts like this when I went to the thing yesterday. And I feel like that's what's cool about Vintage Fest because they just have so much stuff. And they have stuff that like you don't even know existed until you actually go in there and check it out. Also, shout out Bayless Vintage, by the way. They're probably not watching this video, but that's who I bought this from. Also, this came in at $40, which I felt like was a really good price. This is an extra large, by the way. And yeah, overall, really just like this shirt. Don't have any vintage pieces like this in my collection so it's great to like expand my vintage wardrobe out and try new items like this and honestly this is a pretty timeless shirt this ain't going out of style anytime soon you could wear it a bunch of different ways but enough talking about the shirt let's move into the next pickup so funny enough both things i picked up are identically the same color obviously i love this color i love this fade and this is a carhartt vest and i also bought this from the stand next to the stand I bought that shirt from. So kind of did all my shopping in one place, but I felt like those guys had the best stuff. And this one came from Westside Connection Vintage Store, which is out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. So shout out to them. There's their Instagram. I'll also link Bayless Vintage Instagram in the description of this video in case you guys want to check them out. But yeah, I was on the hunt for a Carhartt vest. I actually went to a vintage show two weeks ago and I tried on a vest and it was like way too short on me. So I'm so happy I found this one. This one fits perfectly. And also this came in at $40 as well. I feel like that's a steal too, because I feel like mostly vintage car vests that I see that go for sale online sell between like 70 and hundred dollars. So $40 is a really good price. I mean, the only real flaw is just like this hole in the back, but it doesn't go all the way through. It's just some nice distressing. Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool anyways. But yeah, vintage car hard vests. So those are my two vintage fest pickups now moving on to two more vintage pickups now this was not from vintage fest pickups are actually both from akimo club which is a vintage website which i've been following on instagram for a while i just started to buy from them i haven't really picked up too many pieces from them but i picked up these two next pieces so let's check them out all right staying with the vintage carhartt theme the first pickup from akimo club is going to be this carhartt their active jacket now did I really need another winter coat? No, but I saw this one and I've been wanting a Carhartt jacket of this particular faded color. And I saw this was the active jacket. I know these jackets are super warm, which they are. I've been wearing this a ton in the winter so far since I picked this one up. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna keep me warm. It's gonna be freezing cold here for another two months. I might as well go ahead and invest in this jacket. That's been keeping me warm. Also, it has some really nice distressing on it, as you can see right here. And on the other side as well, that's pretty much really the only distressing. Actually, I lied. There's some distressing on like the chest on the left-hand side, as you guys can see. But overall, super nice jacket. This one was a little bit more expensive. This was $180, which, yeah, I feel like that is pretty pricey. And I'm going to wear it a lot in the winter, so I feel like I'm going to get my money's worth. 
But I will say, Akimo Club, I love their vintage products they put out. I do feel like they do charge like a premium, just, it's kind of like a finder's fee. Anyways, moving on to the next piece from Akimo Club. Let's get to it. And that is gonna be my first pair of vintage Levi's. Now, when it comes to buying pants online, I'm like super skeptical just because you can't like return them. And I love trying on pants. I feel like pants are one of the hardest things to buy just because for me, I'm pretty particular about how pants fit. And if I don't like the way they fit, I will not wear the pants at all. And that's why I hate buying from places that don't offer return policies because then I'm stuck with it. But luckily enough, these pants fit me absolutely perfectly. These are Levi's 505. I got a waist 38, length 29. It kind of it measures out to be a waist 36, which is my waist size. And yeah, overall, just really like this color, really like this fade. It has some like, the bottoms are kind of busted out, which gave, gives it like a nice like vintage look as you guys can see right here. So yeah, overall, really like the color of these jeans. Super happy they fit. I'm actually on the hunt for a vintage black pair of Levi's. That's the color I want next. So hopefully I will find that soon. Haven't had any luck yet, but I haven't really tried that hard either. So anyways, moving on to the next two pickups, which are from my new favorite brand, 18 East. They just had a recent drop. And in my one of my last pickup videos, I picked up like a corduroy shirt from them. And I really like their stuff. So I'm gonna show off these two pieces here. So let's check these out. This piece here is gonna be this quarter zip pullover. As you guys can see, it's not really like a pullover as in like, like an outerwear item. This is more of just like a regular shirt. It's not like thick or anything. Beautiful purplish brown pattern with the orange and yellow mixed in. Super nice color. Again, I'm starting to buy shirts I could wear to work. So that was my thought process with this purchase. And overall, I just really like the way this one fits. Pretty unique colorway. Honestly, it kind of does look like Thanksgiving, not gonna lie, but overall, I really, do enjoy this shirt a lot. Really like what 18 East is doing. And it's another brand that a lot of people do not know about. And I feel like more people should just because they put out really good quality garments. And this was $135, I believe. So not too crazy. Also, you have the snap chest pockets. I forgot to show that off. There you go. Snap front pockets on both sides, which is super nice. But anyways, moving on to our last 18 East pickup. My favorite pickup from them so far, and that is gonna be this Fowler shirt in this navy reddish colorway. I don't even really know like to describe the material because I've never had a shirt like this in my life, but I wish you guys can see this shirt in person because the absolute detailing on this shirt is absolutely insane. Like I said, I don't really know the exact materials they use, but just know the detailing is is off the charts. Hopefully the camera picks it up because this shirt in hand is absolutely beautiful. Love the colorway. They did, this did come out in two colorways, by the way. They had like a greenish and black one. And then they had this one. I went with this one because I felt like I could wear it with more stuff. The shirt is not heavy at all. This is a very loose shirt. So you definitely wear this one in the summer. It's, it's very like loose, it's not very thick at all. But yeah, super cool design, absolutely love it. This, I believe, was 135, so maybe the other one was 125. One was 125, one was 135, but that's not the point. Still, I feel like these are very affordable, but like material quality. And also, this is a smaller brand, so they're not like mass producing these shirts, which is nice too. This is the like fast fashion brand. Not that that matters, but just wanted to point that out there. This is a smaller brand, so obviously, they're probably gonna wanna, they're gonna charge a little bit higher just because, you know, they got their overhead and fees and stuff and whatnot. But yeah, definitely go check them out. I'll leave their Instagram down below and also I'll leave a link to their website. Both these pieces I just showed off are still in stock. So if this video inspires you to go check out the brand, these are still in stock. Highly recommend checking them out. But anyways, let's finish up with these hat club pickups. The first hat club pickup I got here, I actually wore this in my last video, which was on those dime Merrells. Anyways, we got the Colorado Rockies. Kind of a Utah Jazz crossover, which I thought was super cool. Because I love the Jazz 90s uniforms, one of my favorite NBA jerseys of all time. And this mountain right here, the baseball, pretty much reminds me of the mountain range that was on that Jazz uniform. I know about like, if you guys know NBA, you guys know this is jazz, Utah Jazz colors. The 90s Jazz colors, not their current colors. And speaking of the jazz uniforms, like what are those new uniforms? Like those are disgusting. They need to go back to these colors. 
But anyways, that's not the point of this video. The gray under brim hits a gold on this hat. Just make this hat pop out so nice. So happy Hat Club restocked this one because I was not able to get it the first time it dropped. But anyways, moving on to hat number two. It's gonna be another hat that Hat Club recently restocked, and this is gonna be the Seattle Mariners Black Dome. The second time the Black Dome was restocked, I was like doing something. I wasn't able to get service on my phone, so I actually missed this one. But I was so glad they brought these back again because I had to have it. I love this Mariners logo. Any Mariners hats with this logo in my collection, so it's always nice to get a new logo. Like the 40th anniversary side patch as well, the green underbrim, and overall black hat with a little bit of pops of color. Can't really go wrong. Classic logo. Griffey wore this logo in the late 80s, early 90s, I believe. So pretty iconic logo. But yeah, that is going to do it for my hat club pickups. And that is going to do it for the pickup video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.